All right, Shalom. It's the brother from the GMS North Carolina. Came back for another video. Before we go any further, we give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakar Kodash, Delmar and Sar Apostle, and Elder Great Mills, and the of Truth. According to the Bible, we well and peace and blessings to all like the nation of Israel. Today, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Shai. You know, just going to get into a lesson on crying unto the Lord, you know. You know, I've been watching a lot of, you know, when, you know, I watched the Elder Apostle Bar's video, you know, on um, how a lot of these Israelites are full of crap. You know, I, you know, I've seen the caption for the brother, I mean, it's like yeah, for the Elder Apostle Bar's page on to feed my sheep, you know, feed the lambs of the Lord. You know, so when, and then, then, you know, we had a, we had a couple of brothers in our camp. They did a lesson on crying onto the Lord and brothers, you know, in this truth. And when you see those things, you know, when you see the apostles, you know, the elders and the apostles going into things on feeding my lambs and a bunch of men are crap. You should be examining yourselves to whether or not, you know, uh, does this apply to you, you know? Um, you see, um, you should be examining yourselves, you know, and you should take that, uh, you know, even though the, the lesson might be applied to someone else, you know, it, you should take that and see how it applies to you, you know, and how you can, how you can, um, become edified by the lesson and what you can take out of it, you know, as uh, a lot of brothers do lessons on crying on to the Lord and how do we cry on the Lord by by the scriptures. It's like about us doing these lessons. I'm gonna get the scripture since I'm talking so much to like you. This is Job 33 and 14. For the most high speaketh once, yea, twice, but man perceiveth it not, you know. You know, we gotta have that spiritual discernment to see when we see, you know, lessons like that, titles, you know, that um that's the most high speaking through man, you know. That's Yahweh by Shema Shai speaking. You know, for us to feed the sheep, those are, you know, just read the title, feed my lambs, you know, don't be, don't be a uh, BS and cry unto the Lord. Those titles should motivate you, just the titles alone should motivate you to do a lesson. With that, without further ado, I'm going to read that one more time, Job 33 and 14, and it reads, for the most high speak of once, yet twice, yet man perceiveth it not, you know. So we gotta have that spiritual discernment. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shai has given us the Holy Spirit, you know, the Rakar Kodash, you know, to, to perceive what's going on. So we're supposed to have that understanding. We're supposed to perceive when the Most High is speaking, you know? You know, Spirit hopped on me to do this lesson, you know, while I was meditating on the lesson. Because, um, you know, a brother, they had uploaded their video and they have our camp. You know, the up and coming other brother, Wad, you know, he. He, he did the lesson as well, you know? So, Spirit was on me just to do a lesson on crying to the Lord. And Lord's willing, this lesson is edifying. <clears throat> you know, this is Ezekiel. It's like, yeah, misclipped. Yeah, Ezekiel 94. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city. Through the midst of Jerusalem. Yeah, and Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. It's talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And set a mark. Set a mark upon the foreheads. That mark, you know, goes back to the Hebrew word, Tawab. You know, if I'm pronouncing it, brothers, right? You know, brothers, then look it up in the blue letter. You know, Ezekiel 9 and 4. You know, and it means to be exempt from judgment. That's what's coming to this place called America. Judgment is coming to this wicked, sinful kingdom, you know, Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. <coughs> and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of Yes, so what the Yahweh Shema Shai put the spirit on men, righteous men, I should say, the men, the elect, the Lord's will be part of that number to sigh and to cry onto them, you know, who are going to be exempt from judgment. So if you want to fall under that line, you got to cry unto the Lord. And how will we cry unto Yah by Shema Shai? Scriptures say, does not wisdom cry? Does not she utter her voice in the streets? 
you know, where we go out there on the highways and byways, we are crying out to the Lord about all these wicked abominations that be done here in Babylon the Great. Sodomy at an all-time high, fluoride in the water, GMO foods. GMO food should be enough reason to cry. When you eat, you get upset stomachs, you know. When you drink water, you're still thirsty. This place is defiled, you know, with the different philosophies. That should be enough reason for you to cry unto the Lord. Ezekiel 9 and 4, it said, A mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yes, yeah, so there's men that are sighing and crying. And they're going to be exempt from judgment. That's why it will behoove you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to start praying to your power. You know, pray to Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, I'm not going to make this lesson too long. I'm going to bring a couple of scriptures out. I'm going to close it out. Psalms 34 and 17, the righteous cry. Yeah, the scripture is talking about the righteous crying. The wicked, the wicked are people, they're not crying. They're not sighing. And crying out to the Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, hoping to make it out of this place. They're comfortable here. They're happy here. Psalm 34 and 17, the righteous cry. So what? If you cry unto the Lord, you can count. And who is that? The, the, the elect of the righteous. If you cry unto the Lord, that gives you hope that we have a chance to get delivered out of here. And it reads Psalm 37 and 14. I'm sorry, but it's Psalms 34 and 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their trouble. Yes, so the Lord is hearing the righteous cry. And, and, are, are, and are not we troubled here in America? You know, brothers, you gotta wake up, you gotta go, be up at a crack of dawn, you know, to go to work. Brothers having trouble, you know, being attacked by demons in all types of hours of the night, waking up. Um, you know, staying up all night, can't fall asleep, tossing and turning in bed. You know, we are troubled here in America, you know, but the scriptures, they're giving us rest. They're giving us hope. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 5, and to the others he said to my, to my hearing, you're the wicked of our people, the wicked of our people that aren't silent and crying unto the Lord. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye through the midst of the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, and neither have you pity. You look at that word smite, it means to kill. So the Lord has commanded his angels to go through the, through the midst of the city, through the midst of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, that are comfortable here, and to put you to death. You know, that's going to be your judgment for not believing and not wanting to make it, not making it evident. That you want to get out of here. Because you wanted to get out of here. If you wanted something better. A better life. You know. If you wanted the kingdom of heaven. Which is Lord Yahushua ruling. You know. And the twelve in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the rest of the elect. In its proper order. Then you'll be crying unto the Lord. And it reads. Slay utterly old and young. Both maids and little children and women. So the Lord. Yahushua. There's no respect to person. If you ain't. You know, doing what you got to do to get right with the God of the Bible. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son. You're going to be destroyed. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Yeah, don't. Don't kill. Don't put the death to men that were silent and crying out to me. You know, they, they're not with the society. They're not with that. They're not with the... the they, they haven't subscribed... To, to the way America is being run. What the scripture said, the Lord has preserved unto him 7,000 men that would not bow the knee to Baal, you know? And that's talking about the elect. So the elect are going to be destroyed, and that's what we're fighting for. We're fighting to be, fighting to be part of that righteous. So we got to continue to cry unto the Lord. And begin at my sanctuary, and they begin at the ancient men that were before the house. I'm bring two more scriptures out, Lord's will, and I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. One second, brothers. Satan. I'm out here doing the GMS walk and talk, you know. Sometimes you gotta get out of the car. 
you know, walk around and do a lesson, you know. But um, and it reads, it says, in turning the cities of Sodom and, and Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, you know. And what were they doing in Sodom and Gomorrah? Committing acts of sodomy, you know, so-called homosexuality, you know, as they uh, deemed it here in Babylon the Great, the land of confusion. And it reads, in turning the cities, cities into Sodom, in turning the cities into uh, Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow. Yes, yeah, so the Yahweh Shemah he was not down with the program. The Lord was not down with sodomy. Making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And America is going to be destroyed by 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles. And deliver just lot. Yeah, and deliver just lot. You know, look at that word just. It means righteous. You know? And deliver just lot. Vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You know? And we are vex with the filthy conversation of, of the wicked. We are vex. Why wow, these people are condoling themselves in here in America. You know, we're vexed with what's promoted here. We are not down with the program. That's why we continue to sigh and cry unto the Lord. I've said, Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mission of the Lord, keep not silence till he established, till he makes Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And it reads. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to preserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Yes, yeah, so the Lord knows how to deliver the godly, you know, and the Lord Lord's willing. You know, we part of the elect. We're going to get delivered out of here. We just got to continue to sign and cry out to the Lord. Because he, sa he said he was going to deliver those that were signing crying. That's simple. This truth isn't, you know, complicated and catered and hard. The Lord made it simple. Luke 18 and 7. And you want to be a part of this right here. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear along with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Yes, so the Lord is going to avenge his, his elect. And his elect are crying day and night unto him. Scriptures say, make thy calling and election sure. So you want to have, you know, Lord's willing to be, take, be partakers of this scripture right here. You got to cry, sigh and cry unto the Lord day and night. You know, by prayers. You know, making supplication to you. How about you, Mount Shai? Asking for forgiveness, you know. For all your sins, you know, that's probably the crying unto the Lord, too. Because what we're, you know, we are, uh, you know, we are, um, you know, counted our, our righteousness, counted as filthy rights, but that's not about we are wretched men, like it tells you in Romans, you know. So we need a savior, we need to be saved out of this place, man, so we don't get uh, polluted here. But Lord's willing, oh, let me finish out the scripture, nevertheless. When the Son of Man cometh, shall we find faith on the earth? So we gotta remember to keep the faith, keep believing, you know, keep enduring, keep crying unto Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, with that, we'll give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, or Kakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, great most of teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well, and peace and blessings, self-polite of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom.